1968, nobody really knows. Now, if you work for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, <laughs> this could become a regular activity. Let me go to the article. I know all the more we he's lying, he's making these things up. This is the Salt Lake uh, Tribune. Uh, a couple of hours ago, I'm trying to, oh, here's a date, December 20th, 2012. Okay, <laughs> if he don't look Mormon, I don't know who does, but it's his mugshot. <laughs> anyway, former LDS church worker pleads guilty to child abuse. Now, when it says former it makes you think on the headlines that, well, he wasn't working for the church when this happened. No! <laughs> Former means when he got <laughs> jailed, the church fired him. So he was working in the church office building. Oh, my gosh. Ah, <clears throat> courts. Uh, Timothy Balfol, B-O-T-H-E-L-L, -L, admits to abuse involving two young girls. A former LDS employee has pleaded guilty to charges of sexually abusing two children. Timothy William Bethal, 43, was charged in Second District Court with two counts of first-degree aggravated sexual abuse of, uh, of a child stemming from an incident at a home. Now, I don't know why they put at a home. Was it his home, the kid's home, or... <laughs> was it a church party over at someone else's home? Who knows? Anyway, on Tuesday, Bashal uh, accepted a plea, uh, and they dropped some of the charges so he can go to jail quickly. Uh, sometime in the last year, Bethal allegedly touched the genitals of a minor female and made the child uh, touch his genitals also, according to court documents. Well, there you go. We need... Out of the pants. Okay, during the same time, Bethal intentionally or knowingly exposed his genitals to the same female child and another female child on at least four separate occasions, court documents said. Now, <laughs> this is a guy. Here's his defense. He accidentally, <laughs> his penis just unzipped the zipper, dropped out of his pants, in front of the same little girl where he was grabbing her genitals. Hell of a coincidence. <laughs> he needs to get himself a real attorney, not his own defense. Uh, let's see. After being interviewed by police, Bethal admitted to touching the genitals of a female child and causing her to touch his penis. I guess, again, here we go. <laughs> accidentally, the penis fell out of his pants. He told officers he accidentally exposed himself to the same two female children at least eight different times. <laughs> what a defense! You know, I don't even know how you can accidentally expose your genitals to anyone that's a stranger. Uh, I don't know. I can't even imagine this as his defense that he had a, a waving weenie that just jumped out and he tried to put it in, but no, nah, he couldn't put it in. Uh, <clears throat> Bathal was uh, not employed by the church in August when criminal charges were filed. In other words, he was employed by the LDS church just before the criminal charges in August were filed against him, according to the church spokesman Scott Trotter. I, I see Scott's statement all the time. Man... <laughs> <laughs> He's got a hard job lying for the Mormon church. Bethal had worked for the church in the missionary department at the church office building since 2004. God, that's eight years, isn't it? Yeah, four, eight. 2004, and previously worked as a faculty development coordinator for the assessment of student learning at Brigham Young University, according to his uh, Lichen link. Uh, that's a uh, businessman link you can go on and know, find about people. Bothell also <coughs> has a bachelor's degree and a doctor degree from BYU. Uh, he's scheduled for January 29th. <laughs> for what? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been in, uh, seen. Now, see, this doesn't happen to bipolar people. 
normal people right around a week or so before Christmas your donations to the children's fund have dropped way down and my um, hits have dropped down 20 I forget 23,000 in a month I used to get like 60,000 hits a month and now I'm getting like 42. So I, I understand normal people. Your lives evolve around uh, vacations and, and things that uh, the calendar tells you what to say and what to do. A bipolar person, we don't even look at a calendar. We don't know when Christmas is. We don't give a rat's ass. Christmas is any day we want it to happen. Any day we don't want Christmas, I've skipped Christmas. <laughs> so, and that's when my kids say, you're not my real dad. <laughs> so anyway, if you can afford five, ten bucks or whatever just before Christmas, um, put it into the, the main uh, new caribou page. If you can't, I understand. Uh, I'm going to put in a few myself. I, it's hard. I'd rather put it into my own children right now. But, uh, you know, we've got almost, uh, whatever, 500 pounds of wheat to send here, or wheat. <laughs> I'm thinking of as a Mormon. <laughs> See, <laughs> you, can, you can take the boy out of Mormonism, but you can't take the Mormonism out of the boy. It's not wheat. It is rice to the Philippines. So uh, I'm going to say the things I never say. Um, have a Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. Uh, take good care of your own children. Try to keep them away from men that their penises accidentally fall out eight times. <laughs> it's hard to get them out of a garment. I don't know. You know, you kind of got to look for them when you're wearing garments. But this guy, uh, he looked and uh, he, he was able to um, go to jail. So have a good holiday. If you can send money, send it. If you can't, that's fine too. Thanks. Bye.